So that's everybody fed and watered this morning in this shed. Even the pigeons. Sat nice and tight. Sat too tight. Still no babies yet. I will let you know the moment I find some. The AM's got out overnight, the two chicks, so they've been running around all night. Morning, musky ducks. Amazing, Jasmine. Well done. Jasmine's just put the food in. Them three are in one set, them three are in other. Hi. Oh, Jasmine wants to say hi. Jasmine's just put the food in. Shall we go, do you want to go and check for eggs? Mm -hmm. We'll see if you can open the shed then. Really sunny today. Just want some help. Yeah. Go steady, don't touch him. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five. Count them properly then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Is there any in these top boxes? No, nope, we've just got the one nest being built. Look. <laughs> Yay. Jasmine's feeding the geeses. There they are. Right, why don't you go and check for eggs? Lots of food for the geese. The big birds. Put the food bucket in. Just double check behind her. Because they have a habit of hiding eggs. They've been in. You can see, look. There's nice. Just checking in. Any eggs? No. No eggs? Come on then. I've made a big you made a big nest. Well, they've got a big nest in this one. So, Ninja kept trying to go broody. Put her at the side of Blue, her boyfriend, and it didn't end well. She trashed the shed. So, she's now temporarily housed with Jaren. Mum's bunny. Dog. He eats me dog. He doesn't like me dog. So, let's see if we can prevent her going broody because there's no eggs in here whatsoever unless she lays them. So we might just have to keep her separate for a bit because ideally I don't, if I can't stop her going broody, I'll give you some tricks. I've got plenty now. But I'm hopeful to get at least, I could do another set so I can put them in the incubator myself this weekend because that's going back on this weekend. So hopefully, but no, Ninja, who's your good girl? We'll have to watch her. See if we can do it. If not, I'll get some checks. It's not end up world. She'll come back into layer end up year. They're not known for being prolific egg layers. So she does look pretty though. Beautiful shine. <laughs> Let's see if having his girlfriend taken away will calm him down a bit. He's just attacked me already. Could just be because it's breeding season. Could just be because he doesn't like me. At the last show I took him to, it was all right. It was handled by Lynn and it handled beautifully. So it could just be me. But that cockerel really, really hates me. And my mum. But it's put holes in my legs. I'm going to have to sort his spurs out soon because he's getting dangerous. Not now. That's blue. Big boy. Naughty. Got Dotty, Nancy, who's having a drink of water, and Tasha's still in the nest box. You're getting too big for that. Another week and I'll be pulling you. So, but now Dotty's a bit better today. She had a run around yesterday again. Babies were out yesterday. And she's calmed down now. She's not as nasty with me. She's a good girl. She is one of the only rabbits I have from my original line because unfortunately I ended up with a dreaded uh, virus RBD2 RHD2 RHD2 and it killed all barring two and she weren't with us she was somebody else's at the time but she came back to me 
and I'm very grateful for her. Right, I want to show you one of my other breeds. This giant he is a Barama. First year having him, he is only 12 months old and he's still small. Yep, you can me. see, it doesn't look it, but he will widen out to twice this width and maybe even a little bit taller, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with the breed myself yet. I'm still learning, like I said, we all learn. But this boy, I hatched from Evelyn's eggs, from her Barama's, which are both pale. All hers are, I think they're Isabella. And I ended up with a blue boy. And as you can see, he's not exactly the smallest. He is quite placid though. His comb isn't like the other ones you've seen. This comb is called a rose comb. And it's small, bunched, flat, it's not single. Double, could be called double, but I call them rose combs. But he is a big boy. He's also just turned daddy to some of the chicks in the uh, brooder. He's the father, I'll show you the mothers. So, as you can see, got feathered, back up boy, back up, good boy. He's got feathered feet, which means he's got all these feathering, a lot of these are damaged, they'll double out over when he molts again. They're a pain to keep clean, as you can imagine, put them on mud and it's just mud clogs. And believe it or not, if you go like that look, they're just all leg. They're not very fluffy, they're all leg. Short, small wings. Stand up, boy. Turn around. Small wings compared to the rest of his body. But he is really placid. He's a good boy. Aren't you? Greedy. Takes a lot of feeding. Takes a different food as well to try and keep him filled out. He takes what we've, put, we've got him on a higher protein diet than normal birds because we want him to fill out still. He's still only, he's not filled out yet. But now, he's coming for a closer look, look. I'll show you a close up of his comb. As you can see, look. Put your nose down. I was just checking his beak and feet like I always do. And he's all right. Be very big feet, look. Big feet. But I suppose that matches the big bird. Lots of feathering. But he's a good boy. I just call him Barama. He's not picked his own name, barring Barama, or big boy. But now, that's an introduction to my Barama. Well, my mum's Barama. She loves them. It just take a long time to grow up. So, thank you. Would you believe they've only been in here this, this 24 hours? Look at the state of it. You can't even see all the chicks up. Got loads of Sarama on the left, a peek in. AM cross, AM, two red caps, AM, peeking, red cap, cap, red cap, red cap, red cap, quite a few under there, but time to clean them out. Okay, video purposes, this one is a baby Saram, a uh, Barama, so that's our big boys that you've seen in the videos, that's his child, baby, noisy one. I'd say it's a Isabella or Lemon pile. And these look exactly the same. Feathered feet again. Oh, but they're a lot smaller if you look. They are Pekings. These are red caps. Quite a few of them. Another red cap there. That's another, that's a Barama. He's going to be nice and dark. I think he's going to look like his dad. That one there. And we've got, oh, where's he gone? Flighty little bugger. A.M. Samani. Whoop, quick. Remember that black bird I showed you? Oh. Black everything. Eyes, beak. Two white nails, three white nails. So, that's a bad point. All black. Wee. I've got white, what looks to be white or lemon peking. A couple of peekings, there's some surrounds. Maya! Sorry about that. 
Maya was having a hissy fit. So we've got red caps, we've got quite a few of them. Oh look, there's a Savama. One of Jade birds. Look at the size of it. Hopefully that's a little Creole. Tired little bird. Very pretty marking, fuck. Where are you? Where's your face? Very pretty face, look. Very pretty. I know there's at least three Saramas. Oh, Barama's having a go at my nail polish. Dark Barama. Then we've got this one. That is an Ahmed Cross. Ahmed Cross White Star. I know 90%. This one's going to be a good AM, I can tell now. Fuzzing on its back. It's going to be a nice, tight feathered one, that one. A little Sarama hidden underneath them all, look. Don't peck each other. So what else we got, Andrea? Oh, that's another Ahmed baby. Who else we got under here? Whee! So that's three, three Bahamas. The blue one with the feathered legs could actually be Barama cross that sat on eggs crossed with an Ahmed. She's got feathered legs and a white toe look. Pretty blue coloured. Couple of Pekins, so we've counted at least three Bahamas. Too pale. Oh, here comes one of the little Saramas, look. <laughs> Another little Sarama. There, look. A black and white, which is the original colour we originally had. What else we got under here? Oh, little red cap again. Another Pekin, so that's two Pekins. I've lost count of how many birds. Who we got? Plenty of AMs and Baramas and red caps. Got hundreds of red caps now. No, come here. Are you an Ahmed or a blue? I'd say you're an Ahmed. Nice and dark. But now, you can see this one. Let's see if we can get close. There's the armor. Red caps. I'm going to have to lift the plate because a couple of these are pushing on it and burning the back. So I'm going to have to lift it up. But I had to keep it low for the little Saramas because you can see the size difference. Pippi wants to say hi. She's looking out the side of the tank. I know. That's the chicks. That's the chicks. Food, water, another water for one. I think Pippi wants to say hi. I don't know if that's got her. I've just moved the brooder and they've all come out. So we're gonna try this again because I've got to move it back into its corner. So let's see how many's on it. So definitely three Saramas, which isn't too bad to say how many eggs we've got in. Uh, one, two, three. Hold on, let's count. One, two, three. For five Pekins. Are these AMs? Let me have a look. No, oh, that's an Ahmed, that's an AM. So we've got one, two. Oh, you're not. What's my Cleo? You're quiet. You need some food and water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight AM Samanas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten red caps. One, I know there's another, two, three, four Barama. Because we've got this one here. That one's a Barama. Two dark Barama, which is all right. And then we've got one with a stripe down its back. So I've got four Barama out of five I put in. And the rest are Ahmed Cross, including the, the couple of black ones. I think it's gone back under there. Down. 
think it's gone back under there. That's Ahmed Cross. You can tell because it's, no, that's the Brahma. That's an Ahmed Cross. That one's an Ahmed Cross. That one's an Ahmed Cross. And we've got four Ahmed Crosses. This one's gonna be a pretty one, I think. It will eat you, Pippin. She just wants to watch him all day. But no, I'm actually quite chuffed with that. We had a nice hatch right. So, the incubator's definitely empty now. There's no more coming out, so that'll be switched off and cleaned tomorrow. I intend to get a little bit tipsy tonight. So, but now, there's the chicks. So we're at Rex's nest and we're gonna have a look. She's down bottom, look. There she is, she's trashed a, trashed a hutch today. I'm gonna have a look at these. There's one to look. Eyes are just getting ready to open on them. Look at the size of them now, look. They're just starting to open, you see it? Oh, hissy fit. Oh, they throw hissy fits at this age, look. Fat bellies. Little belly, look at that one. You ready? Cute face. Nice spotted. There's Runty, look. Oh, still podgy after this morning. Nice steel grey, I'd say, on spots. And these guys are absolutely amazing. Fat bellies. The all right, it's gonna be nice and big. What have we got here? Oh. We've got a bum. We've got a butt butt. More spots. More stripes. She's doing absolutely amazing with this litter. So nice. Go forward. That one's cute. That one's cute. You know, I like the little whites I do. Little eyes are opening. Not be long before they're coming out of the nest. Nice agouti, spotted agouti. I'm losing track of babies. There's lots of babies in here. Little Runty's going back to sleep there, look. Yeah. Here we go, good view. There we go. Beautiful babies. And Dottie throwing a hissy fit. Let's go and sort your water out, shall we, Dottie? 